take on the role of master builder of ancient Egypt with this strategy game. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM and this is Emotep from Thames and Cosmos. It's named after the famed master builder of ancient Egypt, Emotep, and like Emotep, the game gets players transporting stones to various sites and erecting monuments in such a way that they earn the most points. On your turn, you can choose to do one of four actions. The first option is to add stones of your color from the stone quarry and place them on your supply sled token. Your token can hold up to five stones. You could also choose to take a stone from your token and place it on an empty space on a ship as long as that ship hasn't yet sailed to a sideboard. Another option is to make a ship sail to a sideboard and unload the stones. This can only be done if the ship is loaded with a minimum number of stones and if the site doesn't already have a ship at it. Make sure you follow the unloading rules. The final option is to play a blue market card. There are four types of market cards, and each one allows the player to perform a different action, such as sailing a ship or getting more stones. A round ends when all four ships have sailed to the sites, and you play six rounds to complete a game. This is a very brief explanation of how to play the game. There are actually 12 pages of instructions that are much more detailed than we can give you in our review. For instance, you're probably wondering how you score points. Well, that gets a little involved because each sightboard has different scoring rules. So you might score points immediately at one sightboard while you don't tally up points for another board until the end of a round or the very end of the game. And because you're building a different structure at each site, you might score points for having the tallest structure or you might score points for stones of your color that are visible from the top. Luckily, the scoring rules are also written on each sideboard for easy reference, but you still might want to keep the instructions handy the first time you play. Each sideboard also has a B-side for a different variation on the gameplay and the instructions go through how to play in that way too. If you really like strategy games, then you'll like playing Emotep. You're not only trying to determine the best action to take on your turn that will help you gain points, you're also trying to thwart your opponent's plans, whatever those might be. It might get a little cutthroat depending on who you're playing with, but the competitive nature of the game is what makes it fun. It's for 2-4 to four players ages 10 and up. For where to buy and current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews every day.